Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, is gravely ill. That's according to her family. And right now they're asking for prayers, but also want some privacy at this time. The legendary singer has been battling health problems for years, but continued to perform. Her health forced her to cancel concerts scheduled last month, last summer, I should say. Her management team says a doctor ordered her to stay off the road and get some rest. The singer is 76, and her last performance was with Elton John in New York. For Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul in grave condition. The iconic voice of Motown on all of our minds. This afternoon, she is surrounded by friends and family who are asking for your thoughts and prayers. It's our top story this noon. The Queen of Soul right now, Aretha Franklin, in a local hospital, surrounded by loved ones. The Detroit singer is said to be gravely ill, but is still responsive and conscious right now. Franklin's been battling recent health issues, canceling a handful of concerts earlier this year. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury is live at New Bethel Baptist Church on Detroit's west side, where Aretha's father was once a minister and where she grew up singing in the choir. And Simon, I'm sure the congregation there and the community are coming together thinking about Aretha right now. That's right. We spoke with the pastor from, of this church, and he is asking everyone to send their prayers this way. Like you mentioned, this church is where she got her start. This is where her powerful voice would resonate within these walls, and with anyone with an earshot would just be moved by anything she would sing. And so the pastor is out there asking for everyone to pray for her. Well, without Aretha, the church wouldn't still be here. Uh, she's the one that's kept it alive uh, these last... Uh, 30 some years. Pastor Robert Smith Jr. is asking for prayers to support Aretha Franklin. Her father was one of the most famous pastors of this church. She grew up taking the stage with her powerful voice. There are some pictures of a young Miss Franklin hanging up in a room of the church. The pastor credits Aretha for keeping the church alive. He says every August she would hold a concert at the church to honor her father. She was making plans to do it again this year, but when she hadn't been communicating with the church the past few weeks, Pastor Smith knew something was wrong. Now they're doing all they can do by sending prayers. Asking God to continue this miracle because it's great that she's made it this long. And again, the 76-year-old is gravely, gravely ill, we're told, at a Detroit hospital. The pastor is continuing giving prayers. In fact, they're going to hold a prayer service Wednesday morning just for Aretha Franklin. That's going to be at 5 in the morning. Now, coming up in the later editions of Action News, we're going to tell you what the pastor says, a project he's been working on to honor Aretha Franklin and her father. You'll, hold that, you'll hear that coming up. Alicia. Thank you so much, Simon. We're looking forward to hearing that story. Of course, the news of Aretha's condition spreading quickly. Celebrities and fans from around the world have been chiming in on Twitter. Mariah Carey tweeting, praying for the queen of soul, Aretha Franklin. Missy Elliott saying, my prayers are with Aretha Franklin and her family during this difficult time. Must celebrate the living legends while they are here to see it. So many have given us decades of timeless music. ESPN's Jamil Hill, who's from Detroit, says, just read the reports about Aretha Franklin. Reminds me of that time. Riri blessed the White House with my favorite song of hers. Hashtag get well queen. Actress Jackie Harris was tweeting, prayers going up for the Queen of Soul tonight. Music just wouldn't be the same if not for Aretha Franklin.